Hi everyone, welcome to GT Coding. In this video, we're going to create this uh, split screen effect over here using HTML and CSS. So let me show you a demo of how this works. When we hover over one of these sections, we can see that this section has a larger width and the other two sections take up the remaining space. And when we hover over the other section, we can see that that section has a larger width and the other two sections take up the remaining space. So this is what we're going to design in this video. So let's get started. I have this folder open in VS Code called split screen and I have this folder called IMG inside it. And uh, here we have three images that we're going to use for the background of the sections. Now we'll create the HTML file and the CSS file. So we'll type index.html over here and we'll create one more file called style.css. First of all, let's start with our markup. Since we are using VS Code, we can just type exclamation and press tab and we'll get this HTML5 boilerplate and we'll change this uh, title over here. All right, now we'll create a container division and in that we'll create three sections. So the first section, we will give it a class of photographer and in that we will have an h1 and here we will type photographer and we'll just copy this section and uh, paste it two more times and uh, we'll change this class to designer and uh, we'll change this to designer as well and uh, we'll change this to developer and uh, this to developer as well all right so that's it with our uh, markup now let's link our style.css file over here so we'll type link and here we'll type style.css I will see how this looks on our browser here we can see three of our sections are uh, displayed over here now let's go ahead and uh, start styling this page so here first of all we'll give it a universal selector and uh, we'll remove all the padding and uh, the margin and for the body we will give a font family of Montserrat now let's style the container and for the container we will give a height of 100 viewport height and a display of flex. Let's just give a background and see whether we have the correct height. Alright so we have this 100 viewport height so we'll just delete this from here. Now we'll give some styling to all the sections in general. So for the sections we'll give a height of 100% and we'll set the display to flex and we'll align items to the center and justify content to the center. Now if we give a background color to our section, we can see that all our three sections are uh, aligned to the left, but we want to distribute the 100% width to each of these sections uh, equally. So for that, you can just type flex1 and we can see the width is being distributed among all the sections equally. Now let's style uh, the H1 inside the section. So for the H1, we will give a background color of RGBA and uh, we'll give it a black color and we'll also give it an opacity of 0.6 and we'll set the color to white and uh, padding of 12 pixels for the top and bottom and 32 for the left and right. Now we have to set the background image for these sections. So for the photographer section, we'll give a background uh, URL of img slash photographer and uh, we'll set the background position to center and uh, background size to cover and we'll also give a color over here and uh, we will use the background blend mode so we'll just give it a color of ff0909 and here we'll type background blend mode and we'll set it to multiply. Now we'll just copy these styles from here and we'll paste it for the designer and uh, the developer. So here we'll type designer and uh, for the image we will set the designer image over here and for the color we'll set the color to D2FF09 and uh, here we will type developer and we'll change the image to developer and uh, we'll change the color 
to 09 ff78 all right that's pretty much it with the styling now the last thing we need to do is to style the hover so when we hover over the section we want to increase the width of that section so here in our section we have given a flex of one what this means is that each of these sections will have the same amount of width now if you set the flex to 2 for the section that we hover then the width of that section will be twice the width of the other sections so if you hover over this section we can see this has twice the width of the other sections and uh, whenever we hover over these sections we have twice the width now the last thing we need to do is add a transition so we'll type transition of all to 0.5 seconds now when we hover over these sections, we can see that the width is changing. So that's basically it for this tutorial. I will leave the link of the source code in the description below. And uh, if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.